Look at this ivy here. They do say ivy protects the stone. It's like a double-edged sword, to be honest. You want to take it off, because you can't read what's on the stone. And if you do, it probably ends up damaging the stone. Today I'm in Wilsden and I've just finished filming a blog with Mark and it's a tragic story that happened around this area. So that'll be uploaded later on. While I'm here I came across this churchyard that belonged to St Matthew's. Now St Matthew's Church actually was demolished in 1962. So this video is not scripted at all so I'm just going to go around have a look at some of these stones as you know i do like my cemeteries and churchyards especially victorian ones so let's go around and have a look I think the church itself was across there. I'll see if we can find any uh, clues. John Leach of Manuels who died May 2nd, 1849, aged 68. Let's go further down here. It's a quite a sunny day, so do excuse my shadow if you come across it. Benjamin Ackroyd of Manningham who died April 23rd 1893 aged 51 years buried with his wife here's a beautiful carving Joseph Drake of Dean Lane Farm, who died September 17th, 1901, aged 72 years. Also buried with his wife. Have to be careful. Very slippery, as you can imagine. There's one toppled over here. In loving memory of Emma, 
daughter of Edgar, I think it is, Edgar and Ada Hodds, who died January 11th, 1906, aged 17 years. Hope I pronounced that right, that gives you an idea. So I wouldn't say this place is abandoned. There are people who actually come here and cut the grass. I'll show you that area further down there. It's quite amazing how it's been carved out. In memory of Solomon Breer who died June 16th, 1897, age 60. Yeah, I do like going around and reading these stones. It's all part of our social history. Embedded in tablets, so to speak. Don't know if you can read that. Not easy, but it gives you an idea. Very old. Just makes you wonder who these people were. Again, have a look at this. Beautifully carved out. Martha, the beloved wife of John Smith of Wilsdon, who departed this life August 24th, 1879. Like I said earlier, this video is not scripted and I don't know much about the former church and if I come across any information I'll uh, drop the text in the video. And here's another one just laying on the floor. Look at the colouring on this over the years. Almost gives the impression that it's rusty. It 
We have another residence of Wilsden. William Culvert, who departed this life September 26, 1873. And he was 50 years of age. I know there doesn't seem to be many graves, but I'm guessing the whole place was actually full of uh, burials. These are probably just some of the remaining stones. Beautiful carving there. And belongs to Eleanor Davis, beloved wife of Robert Davis, died June 13th, 1914, aged 56 years. Quite a few stones here. Look at this here. Amazing. Look at this ivy here. They do say ivy protects the stone. It's like a double-edged sword, to be honest. You want to take it off, because you can't read what's on the stone. And if you do, it probably ends up damaging the stone. So for it to be on there, protects it, I guess. And there's some more stones here, on this side. I'm only guessing, but I think the original church, St Matthew's Church, was around this side here. But I'm going to take you to this notice board. And it's been recently installed, this notice board. That gives you information about the, uh, the former church. Let's have a look. There you go, the site of the original St. Matthew's Church, Wilsdon, 1826 to 1962. You can pause the video if you want to read the text. And there's the image of the church. Yeah, so like I said earlier on, there is a project running in the background where they're trying to maintain the churchyard. And there's an old gate. 
at the rear of the uh, churchyard. Original. And the main road is across there from where I came, came from. Let's have a look at these stones here. Tucked away in the corner. Zilla, wife of Paul Simpson. As you can see, the grass is freshly cut. 